guys, it's Ro, and I'm back at it again with a new review. I don't know why I'm even hyped right now because I didn't even like this movie, so let me simmer down. I'm gonna be reviewing Strangers 2. It would be considered a horror movie. I just wanna start off by saying I have not been a fan of scary movies since Halloween, Jason, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I've just felt like scary movies are just stupid. It became a blueprint for all the crazy ass people of the world. But anyway, against my better judgment, I went and watched this damn movie. Not since Fifty Shades of Grey have I wanted to go back to the box office and request my money back. Yes, folks, it happened today. How long is this damn movie? An hour and 25 minutes. That should have been an indication right then and there. It ain't even two hours, B. Like, this movie about to be hella whack. This is not gonna be a regular role rated review where I go through the cast and all of the things as far as like music, wardrobe, and all that other stuff that I like because that doesn't pertain to this movie here. The movie itself was utter garbage. So I'm gonna start off by telling you that out of five stars, I give this a 1.5. Garbage, yo! And that's being generous. I'm just like, can movies be this bad in 2018? Like with all of the things that we have at our disposal. You could have stopped a kid on a playground somewhere and be like, hey Janie, here's some candy. Give me an idea for a movie, anything. With that being said, let's start off with the fact that this movie was super duper unrealistic. Just some things off the top of my head. There was only three killers, three killers in the movie, right? For the first half of the movie, you only seen two. But how is it that only two killers are in this big ass, trailer park and there's four people being hunted they're everywhere at the same damn time the two killers everywhere it's like if they randomly decide to run into a one trailer and hide they're under the bed how are you physically covering every square footage of the trailer park with only two killers it's like you just knew that these niggas was gonna run into house number one two five like how 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 did you have enough time from the last person you stabbed 14 houses over to make it over here, put yourself under a sheet and wait for this bitch to come run in here? Let's not even mention the fact that they got there like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Let's just say even if it took an hour or two hours for killing to start, that's already 1 a.m. I felt like night lasted 12 hours in this movie. Insert scene where the one killer get shot by a shotgun point blank range and you have enough strength to crawl across the street and then talk and then still not die so she has to shoot her again with a shotgun i just <sighs> then by a miracle in the sky a sheriff from nowhere comes do you need help little girl put the car in park take the key out what do you need to take the key out for put it back on his little utility belt and then walk over to him like hey little girl why are you bleeding in the street do you need help Taking my keys out the ignition would be the last thing I would do if I see somebody bleeding and laying in the street. Within two seconds, he's dead. Why is it that in every scary movie, there is always that token scene where someone gets into a car and they're like, no keys in the ignition? And I'm looking in the visor. Who even leaves their keys in the visors? He had like a Jeep Cherokee. Killer comes out of nowhere yet again because he knows exactly where to go. Comes and rams his 600 year old truck that probably is running off vegetable oil. He hits her one good time, like rear, rear ends her. This is the Cher Cherokee, boom. How he hit you one time in the back and now the car can't start. She got the keys now, but the car can't start. Did he hit the engine? No. <laughs> Yet, his whole truck is demolished and this shit's still running. It's just, it's just running. Then she throws a lighter after he hits the car one last time and there's gas everywhere. The car blows up, he catches fire, but does he die? No, he keeps going because his need to kill someone for no reason at all is the is keeping him alive. Is there no one paid to pay attention to the mistakes that happen in movies? For a good portion of the movie, homegirl couldn't even stand, okay? Cause she got stabbed in the leg. Then all of a sudden, this bitch is Usain Bolt. You couldn't even stand, girl. Where are you going? Thought you couldn't walk. Okay, okay. You thought I forgot that part though. No, I didn't. It was just two, two scenes ago, you couldn't walk. Rotten Tomato gave it a 39%, which is very accurate. I would probably give it a 20. IMDB gave it a six out of 10. That's questionable. Y'all need to be reviewed for that review. Mike and his wife, Cindy, take their son and daughter on a road trip that becomes their worst nightmare. 
The family members soon find themselves in a desperate fight for survival. When y'all fought? At what point? Because I ain't see y'all pick up a not a knife, not a rock, not a brick. Nobody even score up with, like, put your throw them hands. Nothing, okay? So what fight for, for survival? Y'all need to take that part out of the overview on Google and stop lying. Kills me is, in all the trailer parks that they went into, the trailer homes that they went into, no one tried to like break a mirror to get a glass and wrap it with a piece of a piece of like cloth or whatever to have a weapon against these people. I just treat these horror movies like a video game. You in Resident Evil, you in any damn, you know, first shooter video games at this point in time, you kill somebody, you immediately go over, you snag their gun. Why is it that for many horror movies, the killer comes, you knock them out, you hit them with something, they drop their weapon and you run away. Pick the knife up. Just lucky there wasn't anything sharp in that movie theater. I would have stabbed myself. The brother watched the girl stab his sister in the leg and had the gun. That was the only weapon that they had found. And she says, are you gonna shoot me? And he does not shoot her. His sister's like, nigga, give me the gun, I'll shoot her. I'm just thinking to myself like, your mom's dead. Your daddy's dead, and your sister just got souffléed in front of you. And even then, you still can't fire this gun that's in your hand. For someone who is trying to kill you. Okay. Like, I just still can't get over the fact that, like, they just kept running. Like, you at the park, pick up a big-ass rock and throw it at this bitch. I'm just watching them run around backyards and stuff, and I'm like, you just passed a shovel. It was just a bunch of running and... <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I be crying like a little bitch. Anyway, moving on, jump scares. There was a couple in there, but I ain't gonna lie. There was one jump scare that I almost pissed myself. It was when she was in the little playground tunnel or whatever, and she's there like, leave me alone. And out of nowhere, this creepy bitch comes out pitch black and was like, we just got started. They got me, they got me with that one. Just to end this all off of unrealisticness, -ness 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 -ness, it's just where can someone please let me know if there's a rule book for scary movies and like if there's just something that I'm missing because I would just love to know where this superhuman strength this drive to stay alive and keep killing comes from because I'm just like I get a whole I get one splinter in my hand okay and I'm not able to function for the rest of the week hell just hospitalize me yet this man has gotten blown up, set on fire, had a big ass shard of glass through his chest, like wasn't even able to walk, felt, couldn't even pick up the axe, fell over, but still was able to get up, jump on the back of a truck. The last scary person got hit in the face full on with like a nine iron freaking golf club and he hit that bitch like it was a Louisville slugger and he was hitting a home run at a Yankee Stadium. I tripped and stubbed my toe in my bedroom and I can't walk for the rest of the day. You got hit in the face with a golf club and two seconds later where's the knife let me try and kill you again no nah, nigga you hit me with a golf club like psych i was playing i ain't even trying to kill you like that it's just like why did you guys want to kill these random people like what did you gain from this like these niggas didn't have no stocks and bonds or gold bricks on them you just wanted to kill them just to kill them in my mind thinking of all the scary movies that i've seen in my life and now i'm starting to think that it's just like a real pattern that they're just you're not I'm thinking too much into it like there's it's not supposed to make sense it's just supposed to scare you stupidly I should have walked out of the theater and just been handed a check for my time I almost want to write the director what is the name Jonas Jonas whatever the hell ever Roberts and just ask what did I do to you to deserve this Jonas what like and I have to wait for another movie to come out to wash away the bad memories of this movie like I just feel like my brain got raped and it's just like what do I do at this point so if you didn't see it don't if you did we could start a support group hi my name is Ro I've seen the strangers too and I feel I I just feel like I can't get my life back. It was all like about a week ago, a week ago. Then I watched this goddamn movie. Let me just see if there's anything else from my notes from this stupid ass movie. No. <sighs> Foolishness. 1.5 out of 5 and I'm sticking to my decision.
shit when this goes on netflix it's probably gonna be half a half a star i bet if you're looking for a real rating on this come back at another time for another movie because you're not gonna get it this movie is <coughs> moments in life where you're just like i can't get that i'll earn 25 minutes of my life back i could have been taking a nap doing a twist out anything anything would have been better than this <sighs> i'm just done because i can't even take any more of talking about this anymore so until next time guys i'm peace out i'm just so drained i'm just so drained i don't want to say what I want to say, because hmm, I don't want nobody in my comments, but Lord. Certain things that happen in this movie, people from the hood would not be doing it. This is why you don't see no black people in damn scary movies. Because the second some shit just don't look right, we're like, hold up. Why is it so quiet? Where everybody at? I'm sorry. My parents take my ass on a goddamn road trip and we stop at some dead end mobile home trailer park I'm putting myself up for adoption on Craigslist wherever you think this is a family trip then have a bigger problem mom and dad little bitch would I don't want to get sent away apparently the she was some rebel child and was misbehaving and they were gonna send her away shit if that's the type of trip you gonna take me on please send me away Phyllis needs coming on <laughs> is that it